Hi folks, and welcome to Conan Exiles. Except this time, we're in the 3.0 Age of Sorcery Test Live server. And I've just been playing a little bit on here and testing a couple of things out. And I just wanted to bring you this quick video of the early game experience that I've had so far on the Test Live 3.0 server. And uh, I have to say that up to this point, uh, what am I? I'm level 21 at this point in time. Not an awful lot different. Uh, there certainly has been no sorcery yet. And uh, without giving away any spoilers, uh, from what I know of where you learn sorcery, it's in a sort of mid-level area. So you kind of have to do your normal new River startup things just to get a high enough level to be able to go there and learn the actual sorcery. But um, there are certainly quite a few changes, and I'll just I'll just go through them just now. The very first thing that you'll see when you log in on the the broken highway down here is it'll pop up and it'll tell you that it's resetting all your key bindings so it's changing some of the key bindings so in order to give you a clean slate it wipes them all back to default to start with and one of the very first things that I noticed that if I press the I key for the inventory which I'm pushing right now nothing happens because it's now under tab so you can see here, this is the standard screen, your inventory, your crafting stuff here, your character, your armor, etc. Uh, but along the top, we've got the normal stats, journey, clan, followers, and map. But we've now got these two ones, so attributes has changed. So it now spells out savage, S-A-V-A-G-E. And they're slightly different than before. Well, they're massively different from before, actually. So, strength determines the damage that you do with strength-based weapons and in slightly increases how much you can carry, which kind of makes sense. The stronger you are, the more you can carry. Um, and I've been putting some points in there. You, you get one point per level, and it takes five points to get to each perk. And it's not, it's not like before where it got exponentially higher. It's just one, two, three, four, five. You get a perk, heavy blows. One, two, three, four, five, and then you get to pick which of those two perks you get. Combo Master or Second Skin. Then work your way along. Agility determines the damage you do with agility-based weapons. So that's the big difference. That all weapons are now either strength weapons or agility weapons. So bows, daggers, punching daggers. Um, and what I eventually found out, short swords are actually all agility weapons. But... Maces, axes, um, uh, long swords, they are all strength based weapons. Uh, but agility determines damage to do agility weapons. It also helps you act after a dodge and slightly increases the size of your stamina pool. Vitality is pretty much the same as before. It determines the size of your health pool. And the very first perk now is I think it was the third perk before um, is the passive regeneration. So that's like one tick every three seconds or something like that. It's, it's minimal, but it's always nice just to tick away. Authority is a new one. Authority determines how much the amount of damage your followers deal and the amount of concussive damage that you deal. So that's new. Grit is the same as before. Determines the size of your stamina pool and has a direct effect on your armor. So that's kind of combined the, the old grit of before and the agility of before and the first part there you see it gives us uh, increased armor by 40 and increases our stamina pool by 20. and then lastly expertise determines the maximum weight you can carry so that's kind of the old encumbrance uh, but it's also mixed some of the survival stuff in it so you can see the first part is survivalist tools lose durability half as quick so that's a new thing but hunger and thirst are depleted 33 percent slower and harvesting and all sorts of stuff in there so that's quite nice uh, we'll show you that the last perk in authority is war can be war party um, and it increases your followers by one so you can have more than one follower and i believe if you do the undead zombie type things that follow you about 
but I think by default you can have three of them and this allows you to have four. So that's all new and all nice. We'll take a little bit of playing with to work out what what is required. Uh, but the other cool thing is if you've got points to spend, there's a, there's a reset points button appears here. So it looks like you don't need to have potions to reset your points. You can just hit reset and you can build another build. Uh, and the only other thing that's new is that the old feats is now called knowledge. And that this symbol means you have points to spend, so I don't have any attributes to spend now, but that does appear there when you do have attributes to spend. And it's, it's your usual stuff. The next thing that's different is if I look here, so that used to be handcrafted. It's now crafted with the construction hammer. And when you learn that, you learn all this old stuff, all the building pieces, but you also learn the, the construction hammer. Now what you do is, if I, it takes me a while to get used to because it's tab instead of I, so I'm constantly pushing the wrong buttons. If you put your construction hammer in, let me just grab some materials. Okay, let's grab some of that and some of that. And hit outside. Uh, over here. Right, so if I press 5, it brings up the construction hammer and it shows you what I was crafting last. You then press F and you can bring up this menu. So you have building pieces and you have all the different styles that you have. At the moment we only have sandstone and flotsam unlocked, but as you unlock the other uh, building blocks they'll appear in this list. Uh, we've also got crafting stations and then they're split into uh, different types, so companions, religion, carpentry, smithing, so there's all the smithing stuff. Casting tables, furnaces, not sure if tannery is classed as smithing, but hey ho. Armour's bench is in there as well, but uh, carpentry, carpenter's bench. And then we've got decorations, beds, storage boxes, and lights that have all, these are all things I've unlocked, so they appear in this list. So if I build a block, it appears like, a, like before. I can raise and lower it, I can spin it around, all the stuff I could do before. Um, and then if I place it, if you see on the right hand side, it removes 35 stone and 5 wood. And again, and again, and again. Now, if I come up to here, I no longer have the option to pick up. So, not that long ago, we got the update that allowed us to pick up building pieces. You cannot pick up building pieces anymore, all you can do is destroy them. But if you notice, the amount of items that you get back is exactly the same. You don't get the diminished return anymore. So instead of destroying pieces or, or picking up pieces, you just destroy them and then you can rebuild them. And then if I hit F, I can change, build a door. There, hit F, build a window, 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 window. Window, 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 hit F, bring a wall, wall, hit F, bring a door, there we go, hit F, the stairs, hit F, build the ceiling, one, two, three, so that, that's the way building works now. You no longer craft the pieces and then in your inventory and lay them down. You use your hammer, bring F, you just have the materials in your inventory. As long as you've got the right materials in your inventory, this is all green. If I go to something else, you see it's red because I don't have, like I don't have enough stone or iron bars to make that. Save for that. Uh, so, so. Don't have high to make that, but I do have the wood and twine that they're green. So the icon, the background icon is red. There's a bracketed torch, stick that there. So yeah, that's that's building in in the new 3.0 update. Which is it takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, but now it's, as I'm getting more used to it, it, it is actually pretty nice. Not having to craft all the individual pieces first and uh, you can just have the, the material and then instantly place the items, which I guess is a bit better. So the next thing I want to show you is the next thing after getting a wee house built is I head off and I create armor. Uh, that is exactly the same. 
you build your you build your armorer's bench you using your crafting hammer but then once you've got that all this stuff is in here something that is a bit annoying is it still does not tell you what the stats that you get on it tells you the armor piece but it doesn't tell you the bonuses that you get on an armor it would be so good to be able to click on it here and know that that's going to give you carrying weight because the the stats on armor has changed now so it doesn't give you encumbrance bonus now this is carry weight um it won't give in it'll give you like a, a bonus to strength weapons or a bonus to to grit or something like that so it's the bonuses have changed slightly I mean a bonus of encumbrance would tell you that it would give you a little bit of encumbrance but it wouldn't actually tell you how much more that would allow you to carry now it does tell you plus 15 to your carrying capacity for each piece that you're you're wearing but it's a bit annoying that it still doesn't tell you and you have to actually craft them before you or eventually we'll be able to look them up on the wiki i guess but it would be so nice if it just told you here that this gave you bonus carry weight bonus strength whatever but it doesn't do that yet something i did test was i went and got the armorer from down the river tamed them up stick them in the tanner's table and we can still do the stitch so we're still able to make thick hide out of normal hide and a little bit of twine so i was able to build that and craft up a whole pile of thick hide which i then put on a thrall there he's now wearing heavy armor without me having to do the long run all the way over to Sepamaru to kill the rhinos to get the the thick hide so that's that's good and uh, do i think there's any, oh one one nice little feature i can now there, here we go we've got a a chest with some items in it here let's just drop all this in here before to move that box i would have to pick up everything in the box pick up the box which again was a new feature move the box over and then put all the stuff in it now now i can just hold the action key and i've got move placeable which i can just move the box and place it there and move the item with everything in it that's awesome that's a brilliant feature works with stations even ones with thralls so this tanner's table move placeable move over here and all it's in the stuff in the inventory and the thrall comes with it as well that's a that's a good one I like that okay once we've got our armor sorted out we then head off and we usually go for pets so same thing as before still the same bug where the trees and plants and stones grow through the middle of the the taming pen unless you put it on foundations but i went and i got a bunch of shalebacks from around here shaleback hatchlings stuck them in the pen with desert berries and we've got a bunch of different shalebacks so here is the lowest level variant a and you can see that at level zero, it now has 147 HP. The other thing I point out is that its health bar is green. So it, all thralls, pets, followers of any sort, all have green health bars now instead of the red. So that you can easily tell them differently from a, a bunch of mobs that you're fighting. But yeah, that shaleback used to have 264 so it's got 44 percent less hp at level zero this one here which i think is either a c or a d variant the sort of the sort of male red ones that you get around here it starts off with 206 hp at level zero it used to have 403 so that's 48 percent less than what it was before and finally the greater shaleback used to have 200 no 2350 it now has 1297 which is also it's like 45 percent less than it was before so it's still considerably stronger than the first one but it's it's almost half the hp that it used to have before i got a second one which i've leveled up to level five and its HP is up to 1,876. So even at level 5, it hasn't even got up to the level zeros of the previous one. But 
you have to bear in mind that all the thralls and stuff around here are weaker, so it's still it's still a decent starter pet to have, and it still has the ten carry slots for going around. I haven't actually come across a corrupted um, alligator or shaleback to fight with it yet, so I'm not 100% sure how it'll do with that. I'm not sure what how its strength compares as well. I think its armor was exactly the same as what it was before, but its HP is definitely like half. Then I went and got some... Someone is fighting. Oh, there's an alligator. Uh, where did you come from? That's caused havoc. There we go. Oh, everybody's come for it. Okay, get back to your, get back to your slots. Right. So, thralls, human thralls. So, Zamorian XL1. So we've been down to the camp that's just down there, just on the other side of that island, and we got an XL1. And as you can see, he starts with 334 HP which interestingly is exactly the same as what a level 1 pre uh, 3.0 had. So there is zero change there. XL2 has 428 HP, who did have 584. So they are 27% down on what they were before. A and an XL3 starts with 490, and they did have 816, so that's 40% down on what they had before. So it's like the high, as you go, so that's no change, and then as you go up the levels, they get less HP, so the, the difference becomes more, and they're becoming weaker. Uh, I've got another XL3 here, and he's level 5, and he's up to... I don't think he's got, I think it's all carry weight, carry weight. Yeah, so he's got heavy armor on to give him more armor and he's got an iron sword, but he's up to 759 HP at level five. So again, even at level five, it hasn't got to what an XL3 used to be, but we'll have to put, put some more levels on him because I used this guy and we went down the river to where there is always a named there's a named fighter that fights a bunch of shalebacks but we couldn't tame that because the name fighter kept being too injured and from fighting with the shalebacks and every time we tried to tame it it died uh, the same problem with the one that fights the crocodile all the way down that way so I went all the way up, where is it, up here somewhere, and there is a, a named fighter that stands on like a little hill, but I think it's around about here, and they're on their own and don't fight anything, so I have full HP, but they've got, because they've got lo less HP now, the damage being done by the basic wooden truncheon we were we were killing it every time and the old trick of if its hp starts getting low you run away so it resets and its hp would go back to full but its um taming bar would stay as it was that doesn't seem to work anymore because every time we went back to it it either hadn't reset and its hp and taming was the same but almost dead or if it did reset the taming bar went all the way back up to full again so every time we try to kill it, or every time we try to knock out a, a named fighter, we were going to kill it before we could knock it out. So I think we're going to have to wait for level 30, where we can get steel to make a torturer's table. And then once we've got the torturer's table, we can make the iron truncheon the next level up, which does less physical damage, and we'll try it with that. Uh, I might also try resetting my attributes and putting more in expertise. No, which one is it? Yeah, authority. If I put more in authority, then I'll get more concussive damage. That used to be the first perk in strength. 
but uh, we might, it's an authority thing now. But yeah, so, so far we haven't encountered any sorcerers to learn the location of where we learn sorcery, uh, but because I happen to know where that location is on the map and what you have to fight when you get there, I don't think we're ready for that anyway. So I'm, I'm hoping to get at least a named fighter or to get this fighter leveled up high enough that we'll be able to take that on and go on go on a bit more of a further afield adventures because I think we'll have to go to some of the bigger camps where we might find a sorcerer. Uh, also there's quite a few big camps up, up the top of the hill there and down the river. Um, and once you kill the sorcerer I believe they drop the map that shows you the location that you go to in order to learn sorcery and we can actually start working on the sorcery side of things. But I just wanted to bring this quick video of what will appear to be the early game experience and how it's not massively different. Um, getting food, getting water, getting armor, building yourself a little shelter other than the, the method you do it with the, the construction hammer. Um, it, it's very similar set your attributes is also very similar what is different is the the nerf that all the thralls have taken so I've, I've tamed quite a few of the different thralls and I've tamed my my favorite pets of course we're now in a bit of a is that another one did I hear something else nope but yeah the the greater shieldback is still the best option for down here in Noob River because it's still got much more HP than everything else um, but Fighter Threes look like to be the highest you can get until we get the next truncheon and hopefully we'll then be able to get the named fighters and we'll, we'll move on from there. But that's all for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you did like the video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.